Well, I'm told actually that lifeguards, the last couple of years especially, have been seeing a lot of head and spinal injuries from people trying to dive into the water. You know, they can't see to the bottom. There might be a sandbar or, or some other obstruction in the way. And so, you know, they hit their head and they can be injured permanently from that. And so that's kind of been a big concern again the last couple of years for lifeguards here at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. Of course, those rip currents, uh, they're probably more of the everyday concern that they have been uh, dealing with here. We know really when you go into any big body of water, a rip current is going to be a big deal. Now here at the ocean, lifeguards say they're actually having a pretty busy summer because of it, having rescued about 150 people so far this season. Now you put that in perspective, last year it was 300 people they pulled out of the water for the entire season. So looking really to blow way past that number in 2021. But you know, that's what lifeguards are for, right? I'm told if you get caught into a rip current, uh, don't panic, just try to float and get somebody's attention with your arms or by yelling if you can. Now, another safety concern is actually on the sand. Digging holes, I'm told, can be extremely dangerous because if they're deep enough and collapse, you could be trapped, you know? And it's, and it's kind of crazy to think of something so innocent being that dangerous, but the Beach Fire Department's technical rescue team has equipment at the ready to try and dig people out, but it's extremely time sensitive. It's not that much sand that you put on top of you and it can prevent you from trying to breathe. So when you dig those deep holes, uh, it's kind of recommended that you only dig it as deep as the height of somebody's knee. Like, so the smallest person in your party is just the height of their knee. So if they go in and the sand overtakes them, then they're not going to have any difficulty getting out. Try to take a breath and tell us how Good advice because just to give you an idea, one cubic foot of sand weighs over 100 pounds. Pretty crazy to think about the technical rescue team. They showed me exactly what that feels like on your chest. And like he said, no surprise, it's incredibly hard to breathe. So now imagine maybe a deep hole collapsing on top of you on the beach or, you know, somebody tunnels into a dune on one of the other area beaches and that collapses on you. I mean, putting it plainly, the chances of you surviving something like that just are not good. So best not to do it. Don't dig holes in the sand. Don't dig deep holes in the sand at the beach and any shallow holes you'll dig, just fill them up too before you leave the beach. We're live